Well, certainly we want to send our, our prayers to uh, the family, his wife and his children, his extended family, his staff, and, and so many of his peers that he works with. You know, uh, Steve Scalise, whether you're on his side of politics or not on his side of politics, he's our guy. He's our representative uh, here in Louisiana, and he's worked up his way up um, through many roles in Congress and is now the majority whip, uh, which is something to be incredibly proud of. Um, you know, when you look back at the incident that, that just happened, but for him being there, there would have been no security there. He happens to be one of the ones that the Capitol Police provide security for, uh, but for the grace of God, you know, uh, it could have been a lot, lot worse. Uh, it's bad enough already. Uh, it looks like, you know, from the uh, preliminary indications, this may be over political ideology and trying to, to resolve conflict, and this is certainly not any way that you resolve conflict. Um, we have to be emotionally strong each and every day in our life, and we can't let these issues drive our emotions to the point where kind of flash bang when we're thinking about what we want to do, and then the bang is actually carrying it out. Uh, and trying to disrupt that, that period of time between the two. Given that, how disappointing was this whole thing when you first heard about it this morning? Well, you know, we got our call from the Capitol Police this morning making us aware of it. And obviously, uh, we provided security at his residence this morning and reached out to our federal and state uh, law enforcement partners, uh, LSP, and I spoke to the SAC of the FBI this morning. Everybody was looking to see if there's any active intelligence. Uh, we didn't have a threat here, but just as a precautionary measure and because of our concern for Steve's family. Uh, you know, Steve's been there for us on so many different occasions, and uh, it was easy for us to be there for him and his family now. Have you talked to him or his family? How have they reacted? No, I, you know, I, I, I did go to the house, but I, I talked to his staff. Um, I, I didn't need to be in the middle uh, of that. Just whatever they needed, we were going to accommodate them. Just let us know. and just wanted them to know uh, that we were there for them. Uh, I think they, the, the support from so many sectors of the community has been overwhelming from what I'm told, uh, and I'm sure that they'll have uh, plenty more to offer uh, real soon.